Welcome to this edition of the Oklahoma Second Amendment Action News. I'm your host, Tim Gillespie, co-founder of OK2A.org. Today, we'd like to discuss the hotly contested Oklahoma County Sheriff's race. One of the candidates, Representative Mike Christian, has made comments about how pro-gun he is and how he has been endorsed by the NRA in the past. Actually, he's also been endorsed by OK2A in the past. But the operative phrase there is, in the past. In 2015, he became the first Republican to receive an F rating from OK2A. You've heard us discuss the problems we've had dealing with the Republican leadership in the state legislature. While the rank and file member of the Republican caucus is truly pro-Second Amendment, the leadership, including Mike Christian, has a tendency to support just enough Second Amendment legislation to be able to go home to their district and tout their support of the Second Amendment while actually killing most of the truly meaningful Second Amendment legislation in shady backroom deals. Now, Representative Christian was very pro-gun for the first few years he served in the legislature, but then something happened. Just like turning a light switch off, Mr. Christian made a very abrupt about face, especially on one bill in particular, HJR 1026 back in 2014. He had voted for this measure, but suddenly, when his vote was needed the most to get that legislation across the finish line, Representative Christian was nowhere to be found. HJR 1026, which was refiled in 2015 as HJR 1009, is OK2A.org's proposed amendment to the Oklahoma Constitution, which would bolster our state's non-existent right to keep and bear arms. So if he's so pro-Second Amendment, why would he suddenly oppose a bill that he had previously voted for and actually co-authored? Well, his first reason was because some of his friends in law enforcement, you see, Representative Christian is a retired trooper, some of his friends in law enforcement were worried that it would allow illegal aliens to carry firearms. The proposal was and still is quite clear in its language. It applies to citizens only. You see, this was just an excuse. As we continued to discuss the matter with the representative, he finally admitted that the true reason he was suddenly opposing the measure was because he had promised his friend, a lobbyist who was arrested later that same day for cocaine possession, that he would oppose it. Who did this friend and lobbyist work for? The University of Oklahoma. That's right, he worked for David Boren, the same David Boren that serves on the advisory board of every town for gun safety, Michael Bloomberg's anti-gun group. That's right, Oklahoma State Representative Mike Christian, who claims to support the Constitution, who claims to support the Second Amendment, sided with New York gun grabber Michael Bloomberg, anti-gun David Boren, and a disgraced lobbyist instead of with you. He says he is pro-Second Amendment, yet he decided to support those that would infringe upon your Second Amendment right to defend yourself and your family. As chairman of the House Public Safety Committee in 2015 and 2016, Representative Christian has repeatedly killed meaningful Second Amendment bills simply by not allowing his committee to hear them. That includes a bill that would have allowed those with a handgun license to carry on city-owned public transportation. A bill that would have allowed citizens who were not felons to carry a handgun in their car without a license. By the way, many states already allow this and amazingly, blood is not running in their streets. He also authored a bill that would have effectively outlawed gun shows in Oklahoma. Oh, and he also refused to hear any campus carry bill, and at the last second pulled a bill that would have prohibited any state agency from spending money lobbying against the Second Amendment. Any state agency, such as the University of Oklahoma. Gee, I wonder who got him to pull that bill at the last second. Could it have been David Bourne? Perhaps that's how he won the Distinguished Service Award from the Oklahoma, Hi Oklahoma Higher Education Association. Finally, let me be clear. This is not an endorsement for Sheriff Wetzel. But Representative Christian continually referred to the Constitution in a debate with Sheriff Wetzel in September. He claims to be pro-Second Amendment. Well, we just believe the citizens of Oklahoma County deserve to know the truth. Now you know the truth. You can visit us on the web at ok2a.org. Thank you for joining us for this edition of the Oklahoma Second Amendment Action News. I'm your host, Tim Gillespie. Have a good day.